What's up, everybody? It's your boy, First Degree Sports, back at you with another video. And Amanda Serrano, over this weekend, was making a historic first-time-ever bout in the women's division of boxing. Defending her three belts, the WBO, WBA, and IBF titles against Danila Ramos. And the reason what make this fight so historic is it was the first fight that woman had three minute rounds, 12 rounds. The same as the men. Usually the rules are fought in under 10 minute, two minute, 10 rounds in two minutes for the woman. So it was a, um, it was a big night for women's boxing. Amanda Serrano, you know, she continues to trailblaze, whether it's selling out arenas, whether it's, you know, women's pay just being, you know, up there. Due to big fights, everybody remembers her big fight with Katie Taylor. Um, her becoming undisputed and her bout against uh, Yasmin Cruz. And yeah, now she, you know, went against Danila Ramos and was able to pull out a very impressive victory. Like I said, 12 minute, 12 rounds, three minute rounds, just like the men. And she showed that, you know, woman can, can indeed, you know, go at that pace, go at that, um, go at that rate. Just to kind of give you an idea, you know, over the in course of the entire fight, Amanda Serrano herself threw about threw 1,100 punches and was able to land 338, while Danila Ramos, in her own right, threw around 800 port punches, landed uh, 120. So the pace was there. It isn't like, you know, the quality went down in that third minute each round. Amanda Serrano looked absolutely stellar, like an Energizer Bunny, winning the fight, unanimous decision. Improving her uh, record to 46 and 2. And she uh, owns 30 KOs. So we know Amanda Serrano is a big puncher. She's got great stamina and she can go all day. Big time fight. I remember when she was um, looking at wanting to fight against Katie Taylor in the, you know, 12, 12 rounds, 3 minutes. But Katie Taylor was not, uh, she wasn't on board with it, so it didn't happen. But uh, Katie Taylor, you know, she's not the only one boxer. There's plenty of other uh, high-profile women's fighters have shown support of the of the option. Uh, Sinisa Estrada, who actually fought in three-minute rounds before against uh, Maria Bermudez in a uh, unified championship fight. Only difference was that fight was still only 10 rounds. But it kind of set a little precedent showing that women can go. And that was a great fight itself i watched that whole fight and that was one of the better women's fights that i've actually seen in general you know in boxing that year it was one of the best fights that year for sure because they were going at it you know it was a great pace as well and sinisa estrada she's a very skilled fighter um chantel cameron the undisputed champion at 140 pounds who scheduled to fight katie taylor she actually um put out the idea that they could do it but again, Katie Taylor did not, you know, I guess her team didn't agree. I guess her team wasn't really feeling it. And they weren't really in, you know, Katie Taylor herself was in really big support. And uh, just to talk about Katie Taylor, it's funny because, you know, should Katie win or lose, I'm sure that a Serrano fight will be on the table for her regardless, the rematch. I felt like Amanda Serrano won that first fight. I know a lot of people are, you know, it's controversial. A lot of people thought Katie won. A lot of people thought Amanda won. But I felt like Amanda won that fight. And with that being said, I feel like had the fight actually gone the 12 rounds, three minute 12 rounds, that Amanda Serrano, I think, would have knocked her out. I think if she had more time in the round, she actually would have got the knockout on Katie Taylor or just would have been able to hurt her even more. And the fight would have been more clearer in her in her favor but I mean you know that's a big gap of time Katie Taylor she seems to kind of gas out in some fights but then catch a second win later on 20 minutes to 36 minutes is a big I mean that's a full extra 16 minutes to a fight so I mean it is what it is that is a big gap um let me know what you guys think do you think woman now for championship fights should be 12 rounds three minutes do you think woman Rounds in general should be that long. Clarissa Shields has also stated in the past that she feels, you know, she would be able to get more knockouts 
if she had more time in rounds. And, you know, that extra minute is really different because a lot of times I feel like women kind of got to rush because the rounds are over, like, in a flash like that. But this fight felt a lot more well-paced, a lot more, you know, comfortable for the woman in there from what I saw because they actually I felt like they got a time to implement game plans instead of having to reset, like, as soon as possible every single time. But, yeah, with that victory, you know, Amanda Serrano, she's kind of like the big, you know, big, big, big girl now in the boxing community. She's kind of like the big money girl. You can make good money fighting her. You know, her manager, MVP, uh, promotions, Jake Paul, under Jake Paul. He's been doing his thing, you know. She also stated that she was the first woman to make a million dollars for a single fight. So, I mean, shout out to her for that as well. Well deserved. Um, She's... You know, she's got options. A fight between her and Sky Nicholson is on the table because I think that's her number one contender in WBC, which probably wouldn't be three-minute rounds because the WBC actually was the only ones that didn't sanction the belt. That's why her WBC title wasn't on the line, and only three of her belts were, that being the WBA, WBO, and IBF. But um, Alicia Baumgartner, the undisputed champ, a weight class above her, 130. She's been calling Amanda Serrano out rather aggressively. It's funny. That's a fight I do want to see and I don't want to see because they're low-key like my two favorite fighters next to Clarissa Shields in the women's division. So it's like, I know it'll be exciting, but I don't want to see either one lose. But I'm all for the fight, obviously, if it happens. Like, I'll be front and center watching it. But I think Serrano is kind of waiting to see what happens between Cameron and Taylor because she really wants that Taylor rematch because, like me, she really feels that she won and she wants to, you know, get that get back, which I completely understand. You know, I think everybody who's a world champion pretty much wants to get their get back after a loss, especially in a fight so close that, you know, could have went your way. But, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that the fight should that women's fight should go to this new format? Do you think it should stay with the old format? Who do you want to see Amanda Serrano fight next? Or just what women's fight in general are you guys just, you know, you can't wait for it to happen. You feel like the matchup just needs to be there. Let your boy first degree know in the comments below. If you mess with the video, make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, stay tuned for what's next to come on the channel. Peace out.